Hi Pisces, I hope you're well. Welcome to Embodied Waters. This is your energy forecast for the week of 4th until the 10th of March 2024. You can find the full video uploaded on YouTube. Just go to my profile page and the link to YouTube will be there as well as relevant links in my bio or the description below. All right, remember to take messages that resonate for you. All right, I see something popping out already, Knight of Swords. The inquiry is what is coming towards you or who is coming towards you. Knight of Swords is about communication, the ethers. Uh, so there may be something regarding the past and some kind of trigger when it comes to communication. So something may be trying to make you speak by all means. And the thing is, Pisces, especially for you, you've been in that process of clearing your throat chakra, speaking from a place of clarity and truth. So whatever this is, you've moved away from it. If it's drama, gossip, chatter, you've moved away from it and you're gaining clarity and creating space within it's been a major process, a milestone for you. So there's something about this significant for this week. All right, let's see more. Okay, the cards are just coming out. Talk about a milestone. A milestone in your throat chakra. So this is, uh, the, the throat chakra is all about effective communication, leadership, mercury energy. So congratulations. This is an upgrade. Yet another milestone. Another portal is being opened up for you. All right. In the physical space, this can look like a home with the four of wands. A sort of home. A family. Or a couple. All right. More about this. Two of Wands, a cup of uh, two of Wands, okay, two of Cups. This is definitely alignment of Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. There may be some fast communication coming in for you in some capacity. All right, let's see. The Hanged Man is your energy, so a shift in perspective. Hmm. I'll start with the first message. It's about you, your own alignment within of Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. This has been your journey. And recently you've been in the process of throat chakra clearing. And that is because you're going out there into the world as a leader. And there is a major milestone you are hitting this week. The second message that is coming, it could be about maybe a past relationship and or all right let's get something from here but there's a shift in perspective you're having about something or some people or someone is having is seeing you differently as you are coming into your new world these people are having to see you differently fast changes all right, so there are fast changes happening. And I'm also getting gestures. This is like the page of cups. So maybe you have some gestures coming in. Maybe people opening doors for you, compliments being given to you in your physical experience. So it's because of that level of, uh, yeah, there is a new level that you are reaching, Pisces. Mm, I'm loving this. Connections. Yeah, there we go. With the gestures and connections. These are like, hmm, like a social butterfly. And you don't even have to be an extrovert to be that. It's your energy that is speaking for you. Wow. And then there are some cutting of ties that are happening as you come into this new levels. 
ending yeah your cotton ties hmm, you're saying bye bye you are saying some goodbyes as well endings and beginnings beginning of the week seven of cups some dream is coming true number seven is crown chakra energy so there may also be some sort of confusion that is trying to come your way all right what about seven of cups four of swords and you are needing to go in so these are so many options where you find yourself caught between choices like what should i go for um what should i like i have so many options i can do this and this and that so this is like knowing you have a lot of skills you have a lot of talent now how do we apply this and this may push you to go in to meditate on what to go for so this is also energetic discernment it looks like you're doing just that you're going in all right let's see more about the beginning of the week nine of swords so yeah there's something trying to cause you confusion pisces be aware of this and stay grounded it feels like that is what you're doing middle of the week seven of swords there sabotage so as you're coming into your new level there is something wanting to bring you back to sabotage you this is deceit more about seven of swords king of cups hmm it may be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone who has this in their chart. It's either that or it's someone who works with their community in some capacity. But this doesn't feel like a new energy. It feels like this person has been in your energy or this situation. Or they even see you as this. So they may come to you seeking some kind of advice or with some kind of story middle justice this is libra so there may be a libra in the picture and this is also your balance your balanced energy so what i'm getting the bottom line with the middle of the week is that there's an energy of sabotage and with this milestone that you're hitting you're, you will be able to apply wisdom and balance to the situation. In other words, you won't get swayed by it. 7-7 seven, seven is a number of spirit. 7 plus 7 is 14, which is 5. So there are fast changes happening on the energetic realm for you, the energetic level, and you're needing to ground yourself. And this feels like a, whoa, it's a battle. The thing is, when you are clearing your throat, when you're, it's, it's big, isn't it? It's massive. Because whatever situations in the past tried to drown you, your truth, and you're a truth seeker. So they don't want to give up on doing that. Yes, I'm saying they because it's they. End of the week. The Emperor. We have four, 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 seven, seven, a lot of synchronicities. Knight of Wands. So this could be a father figure. It could also be father figure, maybe a relationship, okay, a past commitment. And that they're trying to bring you some kind of trigger. I'm getting different energies. There may be like a couple on one hand. There's also another father figure on the other hand. So there is so much going on here that is trying to sabotage you. At some point, you were not able to speak your truth. You had your truth in you, but you couldn't speak it because there was no safety there. There were no listening ears no space, no capacity to hold you for who you are. And you may have moved out of this situation into a different home, maybe a different physical space. 
built up yourself, still doing so, still in the process, of course, for every one of us. And this energy of Triga is like trying to wash into your week. And the divine is like, mm-mm. Pisces is upgrading. You're doing the same old tactics. You feel like you are re-strategizing. Even this is about the re-strategy. Re so there may be some encounters this week. It could be in the form of conversations, phone calls, encounters as well, physical encounters. And the divine is just saying, stay in your balance, stay grounded. And we've got you. You are elevating. Let's get one more for the end of the week. King of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who has like narc tendencies, narcissistic tendencies. Um, keeping in mind, I just want to say, of course, with that energy of justice, that we all have that in us. It's that um, sense of accountability and the, you know, re self reflection. Ability to reflect on ourselves and work on ourselves. That is what continues to differentiate and elevate us. So just wanted to put that in there. Because this is not about victimization. While we can be victims, we are, yes, very much so, many a times victims of situations. We keep working on ourselves. And this feels like your own process, Pisces. So this person has is stuck in their old ways, in other words. And they are not changing. They are stuck in it. Look at that, the emperor. They are stuck in their old ways. Not one person, not two people. And they keep trying to bring you back. But the divine has stepped in for... Their chosen one. Yeah, I'm getting chosen one. The star seed. The divine being. And there you have it. They're not dealing with one person <laughs> as well. They feel like they're dealing with just you, but they're not dealing with one person. They're dealing with the divine. All right, let's see more. Six of Pentacles. It came upside down, which is uh, pointing to Five of Pentacles. So they may want to give you something or they may bring you an offer looking like they're given to you. And the divine is saying, do not fall for it. It doesn't look like you are. You're very much aware. What about Six of Pentacles? Knight of Cups. There, the offer. It may look like this person wants to give to you somehow. Maybe seeking for some kind of wisdom, looking like they're looking for help. Yeah, again, that story is coming up. There may be someone trying to tell you some story or sell you a story. but they're trying to bring you back to a place of scarcity. It goes to say that there is a decision that you're having to make and with the level that you're on Pisces, it feels like it's not even a decision. It feels like you're going to apply wisdom to it and keep flowing. Then towards the end of the week, there seems to be something else. So again, a lot of energy is coming up here. Whatever these energies are, they sense you elevating and expanding. So they're popping out from nowhere, from the shadows. They were sleeping and now they've woken up. Oh, this similar energy came out for Taurus, not the same. Okay. The Hierophant. This is your journey. This is what is protecting you. You're also fastly changing as you are doing your spiritual work. You're being elevated in your leadership in whatever capacity. 
you could be a healer but this is something to do with your work that is healing you at the same time all right let's get something from the wild and sacred feminine i see ten of wands here yeah Feel like they want to bring you into that taking so much responsibility queen sovereignty that is your status that is also speaking to them and i'm going to read this card queen is an archetypal feminine 135 there she popped out all of the cards are just flowing shadow is dependency so the shadow they want to bring you back is that state of codependency begging for something this is an energy of breadcrumbing as well so these people these situations this person has tried to breadcrumb you they've tried to make you beg in some way it doesn't even have to be money could be with intimacy attention something that you know that you were given but you were not getting back a healthy balance <clears throat> shadow dependency remember for just one minute of the day it will be best to try looking upon yourself more as god does for she knows your true your she knows your true royal nature hafiz when you pull queen, you tap into your exalted desires to have agency and import. Royalty rules by divine right, but sovereignty reigns foremost within yourself. Queen counsels you to come to a place of stability, integrity, and poise. In taking up the crown of sovereignty, making innermost decisions that you cannot but obey, you risk exposing yourself to the criticism of others. Do not be deterred. What makes you unique is inviolable. Believe in yourself, queen declares. Queen declares confidence a noble trait. When you accept yourself as you are, you accede to your rightful majesty. On this path, nothing is more empowering than self-determination, and drawing queen indicates a hunger to chart the course of your own life. Whatever stumbling blocks you encounter become stepping stones when you have dominion, dominion over your impulses, honor the truth of your experience, and stay loyal to the authority within. To be sovereign is to be open to all experience, free of resistance and restraint. But Queen also understands the role of personal responsibility in the rules of engagement. Right? So this is you understanding the role of personal responsibility in the rules of engagement, whether with self, with others, even animals or trees. This is balance. This is the Nine of Pentacles energy. She favors choices that serve the greatest good, champions the molding of character, and heals the spiritual development that accountability promotes. In the domain of queen, you must find your true center alone. Sovereignty shows how to hold the moving edge of who you know yourself to be and approach the horizon of who you are to become. The lesson of queen is simple, but far from easy. You are not what happened to you. You are what you choose to be. When you depend on others to make choices for you or validate your worth, you abdicate your throne. Dependency is a form of self-abandonment. Instead, what happens when you hail your inner sovereign, refuse to kowtow to others, and rule yourself with upright autonomy? Queen commands you to act upon your true royal nature. You will find that the universe adjusts the pace of empowerment to your willingness to claim it. And so it is. All right. Let's see two cards from here. Trickery. There. This is a trickster with the seven of swords as well. Faith. Keep going with your faith and in your balance. All right, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this message was helpful and it resonates. If it, if it was, please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow, and I'll see you with many more videos. Much love.